Hi, Jack. How are you today? I'm doing fantastic. It's so great to be with you, Crystal. Yeah, it's so great to be with you. I'm, I'm excited that we can connect a little bit further. We've been in, in each other's sphere. I mean, I don't, that makes me sound way cooler than I am to be in your sphere, but I've known of you for a little while. So I'm excited to learn more about you and, and about your programs. Um, so yeah, how, how, how are you doing today? I'm doing amazing. I mean, I feel like at this stage in my life, in my, my mid forties now, I feel like everything is aligned. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm Canadian, as I mentioned earlier, but I'm living in near Boston, Massachusetts, studying at Harvard Divinity School. And so I'm studying Sanskrit and yoga philosophy. And so it's like the, the language that I'm studying is Sanskrit. And then the texts that we're reading are like the Bhagavad Gita and the yoga sutras. Um, and then my, my field education placement, I get to go to these uh, local temples and ashrams and then really share everything that I learn with our students at Happy Jack Yoga University. So it wasn't always the case, uh, certainly not before <laughs> yoga, but at this stage of life, it's, it's really just such a blessing to have everything integrated and to be able to share it. That's so awesome and so exciting. And, you know, I was saying before we started recording that I've been leading yoga teacher trainings online and in person for since before COVID. And I love it, but I'm transitioning to focusing, putting my energy somewhere else. And so I've been kind of looking for, you know, people always ask me, hey, where can I take teacher trainings? And whenever I met Jack, I, and I learned that he was going to for divinity school to be studying these kinds of things. I was like, okay, that's somebody that I feel comfortable recommending people to, especially online, because I, I really take it very seriously and take the, the step of taking a yoga teacher training, whether it's a 200 or, you know, deepening your studies with a 300 hour, uh, very, very seriously. And I think it's a really important step and one that could be quite transformational and life changing. So um, why don't you, I would love to hear just a little bit more about, about your programs and, and how everything runs. Yeah, I love that. Well, first, I just want to share, you know, I really acknowledge you, Crystal, for, for focusing on what feels right for you so that you can serve in the way, right? You're not spreading yourself too thin. And, you know, like, like you as well, I've, I've been leading yoga teacher training for many years, really started back in 2010. And so, you know, we did it all around the world, more than 30 countries for wow. you know, more than a decade. And then the pandemic happened. And so, you know, many of us had to shift online. And I was, I was initially skeptical. I was like, come on, how can this really be as effective? Yeah. And of course, I mean, anytime we can be together in, in person, that's magic. Uh, but what we found, as I'm sure you did as well, you know, there's actually so many benefits to be able to doing it from home, right? You can pre-record the lectures so you can really go through at your own pace uh, and then when we do get to meet in zoom we come together and share and you know celebrate our successes and ask questions get feedback um, but it's like i don't know for me there there's nothing that's been more impactful than yoga teacher training you know i i we were you know kind of joking right before we hit record here because i i worked for john deere as an engineer for 10 years so i had a completely different life uh, and then one day my mom suggested to me, she's like, Jack, you know, you're really stressed out. Um, you should try meditation or yoga. And my initial response foolishly was, come on, yoga, like I, that's for women, isn't it? Like that's, that's not for me. But thankfully, I, you know, I gave it a try and just like fell in love with, you know, initially the physical practice, how it felt good physically, then the mental benefits. And, and anyways, you know, fast forward a couple of years, 2012, quit my career at John Deere, took a one way ticket to India, ended up spending a year in India, just living at ashrams, studying yoga, you know, getting a bunch of advanced certificates and and really doing it not not for the money. You know, I didn't quit John Deere to, you know, become some famous yoga teacher. It's sure. like doing it because it, the the impact it had on me, it it's made me a better person, frankly, like less selfish, like all of these good things, you know, that maybe we have younger years in life and just, you know, really makes us a better person. And it's so beautiful to see people come into yoga teacher training, um, you know, many times, not even because they want to become yoga teachers, but really just to deepen their practice or yeah. to do some deeper self inquiry or, you know, just come to understand these, the, the philosophy and the texts that the, the tradition comes from. And so, 
for me, there's like nothing else in the world I'd rather be doing. And so when we had a great connection, you know, through our little mastermind group with our friend Leland, um, it felt like a great fit. And if there's some way that I can serve your community and, and, and vice versa, um, I'm happy we can do that. Yes, that's awesome. Thank you so much. I guess one of my main questions before we kind of get into how things work is, what are the, I know for me, I've got really some main things that I want to always make sure that my yoga teacher graduates can do. Like what are some things that you are heavily focused on in your program that you're like, if they learn nothing else, I want them to have this when they graduate. Mm, That's such a great question. You know, I guess one of the main things that we really set the foundation for at the start of the training is that everybody, because everybody's coming in with a different level of experience. Yeah. Some, some yogis have been practicing a lot longer than I have, you know, yeah. dozens and dozens of years, other people are relatively new. So it's first of all, coming in and, and understanding that, that each person is ready where they are. And so that's really, you know, how can we take you to your next level in your next level of evolution of growth? That being said, you know, if you're going to earn a 200 hour certificate, you know, we want you to have some, you know, basic foundational skills and knowledge. And so, uh, you know, a lot of that comes from Yoga Alliance, right? So we make sure that you're going to get, you're going to get your basics in the anatomy and the physiology, you're going to get your basics in the philosophy, um, in each of those different areas. But something that really is important for us is, is that everybody finds their own unique, authentic voice. Love right. That. So it's not, it's not about teaching. It's not about sounding like happy Jack. It's not about sounding like crystal or anybody else. It's about you finding your voice and your style and, you know, really understanding, you know, the, the original teachings that came from India and from these texts. And, and, you know, we don't want to, you know, appropriate, we don't want to, you know, anything like that, but being able to make them uh, relatable for ourselves and being able to share them in a way and, and then I guess another big component is that people have the confidence to actually share it. So, so during the training, you know, there, you will, even if you don't plan to become a yoga teacher, you know, you're just doing it for your own practice. You'll have the opportunities to, to practice teach and to teach yeah. others both within zoom, as well as people in your, you know, at home so that, you know, by the end of it, you could competently lead sun salutations and take people through a basic um, sequence and and really basically have the the confidence but, but also the the confidence um, the competence and the confidence to be able to yes. teach and to share yes that's so important because uh i don't know if you've talked to you know i'm sure you have talked to a lot of people that have maybe gone through other trainings and they don't they don't really learn how to teach you know so i think there's there's some programs that really do might help you to either deepen your own practice or to learn, you know, yeah, I do want to become a teacher. So now then they feel more prepared to actually invest in maybe a little bit of a more in-depth training. Um, but that that's so important is to have that confidence because and the competence, because you can know a lot of stuff, but if you don't know how to translate to a student, then that your certificate isn't going to do you that much good. Yeah, and, and you're right. It happens all the time. So but over the years, <clears throat> in-person trainings, <clears throat> and again, online, you know, all kinds of students who do 200 hour trainings with other communities end up coming to do our training, which is called the hero's journey, uh, because because they were lacking that confidence or that they got the certificate, yeah. but then they didn't actually get out and start teaching. And I, I would say that's another really big thing. If, if, if we were to sum up our program in one word, it's community. You know, and I love, I know that's important for you as well yes. with your Facebook community. And, and that's, if there's one word, it's community and, and really ongoing support. So we, in addition to the 200 hour, you know, Zoom calls, we have weekly calls on, you know, satsang sharing circles and mentorship and, and business of yoga and then live asana classes and, you know, all these different, so there's like, depending on the week, five to eight to 10 Zoom calls per week that are available. Now you don't have to attend, you know, don't feel overwhelmed. Like, oh my goodness, I got, you know, you don't have to go to all of them because a lot of them are optional. Uh, But just having that support so that even, you know, while you're going through the 200 hour, but then even after you graduate, you can continue to tap back in, access the materials, access the community, be able to ask questions. Because I know, you know, I've done over 2000 hours of yoga teacher training myself which, you know, so I learned a lot, 
But most of those trainings I did, you know, it's kind of you leave, you get the certificate, see you later, and they're no longer in my life. And now it's like, yes. I got to figure this out by myself. And it, it took a long time to yeah. figure out. I'm sure like you and I had to figure out a lot on our own. And now, now we have this privilege of being able to, to help people kind of fast forward that for those that, that really want us, you know, perhaps create a yoga business or start teaching whatever, whatever capacity that is. Yes. I love that. I always say this. I always say the same thing. Um, and, and yeah, just helping them to, so that they don't have to go through all of those struggles that, that we went through. Of course, there's always, there's always some struggles that you just have to go through in order to learn how to be a good teacher. Um, but I really appreciate you saying that community is so, so important. I say that all the time that it's kind of like, I do the same thing too. Okay. Bye, see you later. Good luck. You know, and then you never hear from them again. And and that's the cool thing about being online. You know, before COVID, I had a lot of a harder time, I guess, selling an online program because it's like talking people into an, that an online program can actually work. There's still a lot of skepticism, but what makes what made my training different and your training different are the Zoom calls. That's what's important. And what I try to tell people is you're actually going to be better at queuing by being on a Zoom, by having to translate it through Zoom, because you can't go over there and touch them and be like, just do this. You know, you can't do that. And I think in this day and age too, it's so important to be able to cue because we don't know what baggage students are coming in with. I would say touching is like a last resort. So the more we can cue and, and be efficient with our words, the better. So I, I really love that. And, and being online, it's like you've met the people online, so it's easy to stay in community with them online because that's how you found them. A lot of my in-person trainings, it's kind of like, I don't, I don't see a lot of those people anymore. And it's kind of sad because we didn't meet online, if that makes any sense. It does. It makes perfect sense. And I think that's the, the important thing is that all of us, we find the platform that feels most authentic for us. And so, you know, I'm from Canada, small town. We, we still do a retreat there, you know, every year with our local community. And we, we bring a group to India every year. And it, it's beautiful to be able to do that in-person stuff. Um, but actually somehow, you know, you shared how in, in Facebook community, you just, it's, it's fun and you love connecting with your community there. And that's really how we are, us at our team here feel with this Zoom platform. And so that, well, I was thrilled to connect with you just like this. Um, because it it really, you know, selfishly in a way, it carried me through the pandemic. You know, how everybody yes. was like isolated and locked down and just being able to have people, you know, like, yes, we were teaching and facilitating, but because of the nature of the conversations that come up during yoga teacher training, very yeah. vulnerable, very real, very open. And it's like, we share stories, then people open up, share their stories. And and it's, it's, by the way, it's not therapy. We're not here to do therapy, but it, it can be therapeutic in a way. It can be very empowering and, and loving. And, um, and, and that's the beautiful thing, whether, you know, as, as yoga teachers, we're in a way we're there very much to serve and we receive so much as well. We get lifted up there. There's so many days where, you know, in the morning I might be like, oh, it'd be, it'd be so much easier just to have the day off and, and not, you know, not go teach or lead yet every you know of course i always show up and every single time at the end of teaching or leading a training i'm so much more elevated and so yeah. much more lifted and it's like this so it's it's like this is why i keep scheduling this is i wake up and can't wait to do this and and really our wish is that everybody finds finds something and i'm not saying that everybody needs to do yoga or everybody needs to be a yoga teacher but if, if, if you have that calling inside, if there's that part of you that's kind of curious, you know, give it a shot and you just, you just might surprise yourself. Most definitely. I love that. So your program, it's, it's unique. I love the format. I love how it works. Can you just tell us a little bit about that? And then we can get into um, how people can find out more about it. Yeah. So we, we lead it three times a year basically from January to April in the, the winter season, in the summer from May to August, and then in the fall from September to December. So the next one, the next one starts in three days from now. So it's actually really divine timing. And, and basically, so it's a, a trimester, right? But the reason we do it three times a year, so basically we have a training running year round. Yeah. And so what's really cool about that is so, you know, students, they join, they go through, you know, weekly module by module. And so they can finish the training in th in four months 
However, and, and some people do that, however, many people, because they have a full time job, because they're raising multiple children, they got all kinds of responsibilities, they like to go at a little bit slower pace. And so if they don't, for example, finish everything by December, they can pick up again with us in January and continue and just be able to graduate whenever it works for them. So that's something that we do to well, because we love doing it and it just makes it so that there's always that support system. Um, so that's that's really how it's set up and we have a we have a monthly membership or an annual membership so some students if you're if you're like hey I, I know I just want the 200 hour then they'll sign up for a monthly membership and you know join us for four months and that ends up being super affordable to get a 200 hour yoga teacher training that used to cost thousands of dollars in person right now we're talking yeah. hundreds and so to be able to to become a 200 hour yoga line certified teacher you know, call it under, you know, in four months, um, or, you know, some teachers or some students are like, you know what, I know I want to go at a slower pace, uh, or I want to do some of these other courses, because not to take it, you know, get too confusing, but we have 23 other uh, yoga teacher certifications from yin yoga to pranayama to yoga philosophy. <clears throat> and so those can build up to become the 300 hour. And then, of course, if a student does a 200 plus a 300, then they become 500 hour Yoga Alliance certified. So if, if somebody's like, yeah, hey, I want to go all in, then then maybe they join for the annual membership. Um, so there's yeah, there's there's different ways. And, and, you know, we have a money back guarantee where, you know, sign up if and, you know, get us get a sense for that first week. Come to a live sharing circle with me. One of our mentorship calls come to a yoga class, test it out. Uh, and if it doesn't feel right. And in that first week, we'll give you a full refund, no questions asked, um, just just so people that doesn't become a barrier. Um, yeah. yeah, that's awesome. And so I will share the link so you guys can just look in the description of this video or in the email, wherever you ended up seeing this video, and I'll share the link so that you can go check more of it out. Is there anything that you would just love to impart with everybody before we say goodbye? Hmm. That's such a good, I mean, I guess I have so many stories that I, but we're, I don't want to, I want to be mindful of all of our time. I guess I just think back to that first yoga teacher training that I took and you know, I was a different person. I was a hider. I was, it was, it was in person, you know, whatever, 13 years ago, 14 years ago. And uh, we got put in these small groups and I was very, you know, shy and a hider and just kind of sitting on the sidelines. And my small team, they recognized that in me. So they, they nominated me as the leader. Uh, so I had to, you know, I had to regularly kind of, re you know, report back for the team and the group and participate. Yeah. And, and, and just by doing that, by having to, you know, regularly, you know, step out of my comfort zone and try something new and express myself and fumble my way through things. And, you know, if it, that's something I would say is yoga teacher training this is a time to get messy, right? You don't have to show up and have it all figured out. You don't, you're oh, not supposed exactly. to show up. You're not, you're not supposed to show up as an expert yoga teacher yeah. or a yogi, like come in, get messy, like try stuff, fumble, mix up your lefts and your rights. And this is yeah. the time to do it. And, mm -hmm. and we still do it, you know, with mix up little things here and there. And it's, it's almost really a big part of it is that self-acceptance, you know, being able to accept ourselves and love ourselves and challenge ourselves. Um, and that's, you know, that's why I just, I get so lit up about it. This is uh, the, one of the best things, best decisions in my life for sure. Yeah. Same. It's, it saved me from so, so much. It saved me from myself really. So, I mean, that's, it's why I'm here and why I am as grounded as I am today. <laughs> Amazing. I love yeah. it. Well, I appreciate your time, Crystal. Awesome. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Namaste. Namaste.